Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Sherwin Tan. Welcome back to the show. We're talking about Italian Rosato, and more specifically, Rosato from the Salento Peninsula in Puglia. So before we get started, you know, you have to know that actually it's very, very hot. It's true Mediterranean climate down there. So traditionally, locals were drinking Rosato because it's a little bit too hot traditionally to make white wines. This is still has some of the flavor, some of the tannins of the red, but still it has the acidity and the refreshingness. Yeah, it's very interesting when we were in Salento and we're talking to people about, oh, you know what, do you like to drink on a daily basis? And most of them would say like more than 90% of the people we ask, Rosato. And I like to have it with fish, everything. Yes. Fish, pasta, mm-hmm. everything. We have a couple of producers here that we actually visited. Uh, we got these bottles from Salento Wine Shop, so I want to thank uh, them for mm-hmm. sending them over. We did visit these producers. We we're, we did a video actually highlighting the region, mm-hmm. supported by a couple of the producers. So we're excited. We'll be sure. I'll put that in the description box as well. Let's get started. In Salento... For Rosato, it's all about Negro Amaro. You know, and sure, it's one it's one style of Rosato that Shireen likes a lot. I I like that because for for me for Rosato, I prefer something with a little bit more body. Sometimes with a little bit more tannins. It's always exciting when your Rosato or rosé isn't just like all fruit, but you know has a little bit of spiciness and other nuances to it. And I think that's what Negro Amaro Rosato always give me. Yeah. yeah. So we have, you know, the, and traditionally risotto actually had some tannin, a little bit more body. Mm-hmm. Producers are kind of dialing back on the the color a little bit, make it more like French style, more easy to drink. But mm-hmm. they're still darker than Provencal. Yeah, you can here. see over here, right? Let's get started with one. Uh, you want to start with the meatier one or the easier one? The, the lighter one. So first we have Santi de Dimitri. This is the Negro Mar Rosato 2018. We spent some time with Santi Dimitri, uh, the owners Carlo Martin and Eduardo Valone. You want to talk about your experience with their wines, Santi Dimitri? Mm, I like that they are very, very fruit-focused wines. So they only have one tier of wine, you know, all priced at about the same range. And they have one that is oak, right? But all their wines are made in a fresh style, even for the Negro Amaro red. And, and then they try to focus more on like the health of the fruit and basically just the fruitiness and its um, drinkability. So it sounds kind of like, oh, you know, a little bit boring, right? But when you taste the one and when it's made of great grapes, right? It's just perfect, you know? You just get, you get a great idea of what the vintage has to offer. I enjoy drinking every single one of the ones in the portfolio. Yeah, I was surprised. And that's I, rare. Yeah, and I was surprised. I like what they were doing. It's a big, you know, big estate. They have a lot of property, and mm-hmm. they only have one range of inexpensive wines. I was asking what they were doing. They said, well, they were trying to build up the market before they stood mm-hmm. up. So yeah. uh, this was one of our favorite wines. We have tasted this mm-hmm. for Negro Mar mm-hmm. Rosato 2018. Made to be a little more uh, Provencal in style, yeah, so it's a little bit lighter. Yeah, in color. Yeah, more like a darker salmon pink color. Um, I have tasted this wine, right? And, and prior to that, I, I felt that a lot of Negro Amaro Rosato, as much as they taste really good, they usually lack this refreshing, attractive aroma. And I remembered Santi Dimitri Rosato has that beautiful, like, limey, summery sort of aroma that I enjoy. Definitely get with Negro Amaro, I get more or and more uh, instead mm-hmm. of strawberries, I get always more oranges with Negro Amaro. Mm-hmm. A little bit of this blood orange pomegranate taste on the palate as well. Pomegranate, definitely. Yeah. and it kind of looks like, uh, like sandy. I, I don't know, like sandy. beach sand, really? like beach sand. Let's mm. give this a go. I love that it gives weight. This is not really tannic, but it gives some weight, and there is really good acidity in this wine. Right. Light, refreshing. Yeah. This still has um, a little bit of bite, not, not, not yeah. like medium yeah. rosés. Super enjoyable. Yeah. It's more really grapefruit enjoyable. driven, but since it's Mega Negra Amaro, you always feel a little bit of the spiciness on the finish. I think this the acidity in this wine is just beautiful. Yeah, and like I said, these are wines that are meant to be fun and free, so scores are actually not as important. I think it's like an 87, 88 point type rosato, mm-hmm. but something that I would really enjoy, drink, I really do enjoy drinking, and I'm going to have it yeah. later actually with the chicken soup. Yeah. Hey. Soup or uh, uh, like with fish. It's perfect with fish. Yeah. The next producer is a producer we have a lot of confidence mm-hmm. in, we think has a bright future. Uh, Vito 
Maruli. <laughs> this is the Tenuta Panada because it's the estate where actually he get the grapes. Copertino Rosato 2018 uh, Negro Amaro. This might have a little bit of multiple Chiano in it because that's one of the grapes that is permitted. But yeah. it's mostly Negro Amaro. Yeah, because usually Negro Amaro Rosato tends to look a little bit more orangey copper. Yes. But this one is quite red, quite pink. This definitely has some color here, uh, which you're going to see. It's not full fledged, uh, not full fledged mm -hmm. the Negro Amaro Rosato. Mm -hmm. They're trying to make it a little bit lighter. We're really a big fan of this producer. Mm -hmm. We think that he has a bright he has a bright future. We spent a lot of time with him. We tasted his wines before mm -hmm. this visit. We're big fans of this Manone, his Negro Amaro that's actually made in concrete. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add on this mm -hmm. uh, the producer? I just I really look forward to every one of his new vintages. You can see the distinct like improvement in every single vintage, and and I like the portfolio. The portfolio is very diverse. Okay, let's give this a. Now this actually is so funny this. It's darker in color than this, but it smells a little lighter. more lighter, yeah. more strawberry yeah, typical. Not, exactly, I get Rosato. immediately strawberry cream on the nose. Strawberries, yeah, mm -hmm. strawberry lemon. cream, yeah. lemon. Like what you're tr typically going to expect from a rosato. Let's give this a little bit of a go. I feel like I'm in a bakery, you know, like a strawberry shortcake with lemon, lemonade on the side. Mm. Tons of strawberry, tons of fruit. Yeah, this is very juicy, much bigger on the palate. Do you have a touch of residual? It's dry, but just a touch of residual sugar to build up the body. And it's, it's very possible because Negro Amaro has really high acidity. Mm -hmm. So with this kind of body and balanced acidity, I do suspect there should be a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but it's very dry. It is a very dry. What are you enjoying more out of the two? Uh, I think I would drink this on its own if it chill it down a little bit more. But this is definitely more of a food wine from a... Yeah, more gastronomy. I think it's um, like an 80, They're both around the 88, 87 point type mm -hmm. wine. They're very enjoyable. They're going to go fantastic yeah. with fish, uh, with some soup that we're going to actually have later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're in the region, don't be afraid to try the Rosatos. Even the ones that are come from bulk, they can be quite good. They can be, yeah. Anything else you want to add on this style of rosato? You're something that you're a fan of. It's just, if you like a fuller, fuller body rosato, this is definitely for you. You would expect very nice acidity from Negro Amaro. You'll get some spiciness. You may get some tannins. And um, sometimes the notes can be quite interesting because some of the rosato that we've tasted, right, it can be even like earthy mm. instead of instead of like the refreshing fruit note, which is not what I like when it's earthy, but I think some people may appreciate it. So guys, uh, check out these wines. I'll put the link to Salento, uh, Salento Wine Shop in the description box. We're not affiliates, but mm -hmm. you can check them out. Uh, you can check out our upcoming travelogue video on Salento. I'll put that in there as well. And if you like this video, please subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. We'll see you at the next episode.